Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my most recent updated inventory and it covers pretty much everything in my collection that's beauty related. Nail polishes, skincare, body care, hair care and makeup. So I have my list here and previously I put the numbers and my goal and how far off I was from that goal and this time around I'm going to put what the number was previously and the goal and what it is now and also hopefully insert a photo some things are way too big to take photos like my nail polishes if I try and take photos of all of my nail polishes that's just not going to work so some things I won't be able to put photos in but the stuff that's easy to photograph I will put in so that you can see the kind of stuff that I have in my collection so the first category is hair care and the first item is shampoo for shampoo previously I had two and now I have five for conditioner previously I had two and now I have two for hair masks I did previously have one and now I have three. For leave-in conditioner I did have one and now I have four. In this context leave-in conditioner is anything that I put in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together and then run through this end of my hair and don't wash out that isn't an oil. So creams, solutions, that kind of thing that you just leave in when your hair is either wet or dry. That's what I consider a leave-in conditioner. A dry shampoo I did have two and now I have three. Hairspray I did have one. I still have one. Heat protectant, I did have two. I still have two. Hair dye. Hair dye is a new category, so I didn't record for last time, but this time around I have three. Hair oil, I did have three. I still have three. Conditioning sprays, which is an, a leave-in conditioner in a spray form, I did have two and now I have three. Scalp serum is again a new category. I didn't record previously and now I have one of those. And texturizing spray, I had a zero. I still still have zero. So that puts me at a total of 26 hair based products up from 16. It sounds like a lot but I explained in my previous video and you'll see in the numbers when I tell you what my goals are that a lot of the hair care stuff doesn't have a goal because I buy my hair care in bulk and then just use it throughout the year. That is why those numbers are pretty high. For skincare then, facial sprays or toners, I did have eight and I still have eight. For some reason I recorded that as three, but I know that I definitely have more than three. So I will check my numbers and the correct number will be here. So facial serums, I did have three and now I have 13, which again seems really high. What I may have done is put the sprays in the serums column by accident. Again, the correct number will be here. Eye creams, I did have three and now I have five. I serum I did have one I still have one day cream I did have six and now I have ten sheet masks I did have seven and now I have five face masks which is anything that's a mask that's in like a pot that basically isn't a sheet mask I did have four and now I have six eye masks I did have zero I still have zero a new category of face wipes I mean it's kind of new I took it out because I stopped buying face wipes but I actually got some for Christmas so I have one packet of those cleansers in this context a cleanser is anything that removes makeup so micellar waters or hot cloth cleansers or oil cleansers or even like balm cleansers those kinds of things I have six and then I have a separate category for face wash which is your daily face wash basically I did have five and now I have seven I also have a new category of chemical exfoliant I previously had zero obviously because it's a new category and now I have one night cream I did have two and now I have six and SPF, I did have one, I still have one. So another category that's up again, which is up from 44 to 63. Honestly, I have no excuse for this. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised at how many I have. Granted, some of these are sachet samples, so I'll go through them really quickly, and I probably acquired them as samples, and that's why I have so many, but I need to use them up, basically. I just need to start having these numbers go down instead of up. So body care, I I have deodorant, I did have two and now I have one. Perfume, I did have six and now I have five. Foot spray, I did have one and now I have zero. Antibacterial hand gel, I did have 20, I still have 20. Body wash, I did have eight and now I have four. Hand cream, I did have 15 and now I have 17. Foot cream, I did have zero, I still have zero. Body spray, I did have one and now I have four. Body lotion, I did have 28 
I still have 28. Shave cream, I did have one, I still have one. Body scrub, I did have three and now I have one. Bubble bath, I did have two and now I have three. Body sunscreen, I did have one which I decluttered because it's old now and next year it won't, the SPF won't be any good. So I did have one and now I have zero. And after sun, I did have one, I still have one. Lip balms, I did have 47 and now I have 50. Bath oil, I did have two and now I have have zero. Teeth whitening products is a new category. I have two of those. Toothpaste is another new category. I have 11 of those. How I managed to acquire 11 toothpastes, I will never know, but it happened. And that is why I added it to this because it needed to be a category because I need to go through them. Bath bombs is a new category because I didn't have any previously, but I did haul some. I have seven of those. Medicated creams is another new category. I just had these under body lotion before. I have two of those. Bar soap is another new category. I have five of those. Bath salts. I had zero. I still have zero. This category is down. It felt like a lot of those items went up but overall the category is down. It was down from 138 to 135. The next category is nail polish and nail related things. This category is way up, like way up. Top coats, I did have four, I still have four. Base coats, I did have four and now I have six. Polish thinner, I did have one, I still have one. Cuticle remover, I did have one, I still have one. Nail treatment, I did have one, I still have one. Cuticle oil, I did have three, I still have three. And then we move on to the colored nail polishes. So if you're new to this kind of video, I break my nail polish down by color, just so that I can see what I'm gravitating towards, but also what I have the most of, and therefore don't necessarily need any more of. So yellow polish, I did have two, I still have two. Two. Blue polish, I did have 33 and now I have 46. Pink polish, I did have 40 and now I have 48. Orange polish, I did have 16 and now I have 22. Burgundy polish, I did have 11 and now I have 8. To be honest, I think some of those burgundies have moved back into red just because it's, you know, you see it in one light one day and it's a red polish. You see it in one light another day and it's a burgundy polish. You see it in one light one day and it's a purple polish. So the, those kind of shades kind of mix around a little bit and the same with like pinks and nudes so red polish I did have 14 now I have 21 glitter toppers I did have three I still have three nude polish I did have 20 and now I have 19 silver polish I did have three and now I have four white polish I did have 14 and now I have 16 black polish I did have five and now I have eight purple polish I did have 28 and now I have 34 gray polish I did have nine and now I have seven gold polish I did have nine and now I have eight brown polish I did have 15 and now I have 27 green polish I did have 22 and now I have 26 nail polish remover I did have one I still have one and isopropyl alcohol is in this category because I don't know where else to put it and that one is still at one as well so that's up from 260 to 317 which is really bad I need to really focus on getting some nail polishes out of my collection next year so that is those the last category then is makeup so foundation I I did have six, I still have six. Concealer, I did have three and now I have six, but three of those are just like sachet samples, like one use things. So cream eyeshadows, I did have two and now I have six, but I didn't have two before. I just started counting the different shades that I have in my palettes, not as eyeshadows anymore, but as what they are. So in a pressed eyeshadow palette, you might have one glitter. I'm now counting that as a glitter. Whereas before I was counting it as an eyeshadow and the same for like the super shock shadows in my color palettes I'm counting those as creams now so black eyeliners I did have eight and now I have eleven brow products I did have seven I still have seven mascara I did have three and now I have five blush I did have 38 and now I have 39 bronzer I did have five and now I have six eye primers I did have two and now I have five regular face primer I did have five and now I have seven highlighters I did have 37 I still have 37 lipstick I had 25 and now I have 27 liquid lipstick I did have 23 and now I have 27 and lip gloss I did have 19 and now I have 18 lip oil is a new category I have one of those pressed glitter I did have 18 and now I have 27 again it's not because I've bought x amount of pressed glitters it's just because I've gone through 
through my palettes and counted what is a powdered eyeshadow, what is a glitter. So, setting powders, I had three and now I still have three. Chunky lip pencils, I did have nine and now I have six. Chunky eye pencils, which is basically like an eyeshadow crayon type thing. I did have seven and now I have ten. Blue eyeliner, I did have one, I still have one. And a new category, foundation drops that lighten or darken the foundation. I have one of those, I have one light one. Setting sprays, I did have four and now I have five. Priming sprays, I did have one, I still have one. Blush toppers, I did have two, I still have two. Contour powders, I did have three, I still have three. Lip pencils, which is a lip liner, I did have eight and now I have nine. Purple eyeliner, I did have one and I still have one. Brown eyeliner, I did have zero, I still have zero, but I'm keeping keeping that category in because I do enjoy a brown eyeliner, so I will at some point have a brown eyeliner. Lip stain, I did have zero, I still have zero. Uh, loose pigments or glitters, I did have ten, I still have ten. Tinted moisturizer is a new category and I have two of those. And the last item is eyeshadows. I did have 949 and now I have 1000 1095 eyeshadows and as I said before I go into my palettes and I count every single pan so for example this is just one that I had handy so this shade here this silver shade I counted as a pressed glitter and then all the pans around it I counted as an eyeshadow so that is how I have done my inventory this time around hopefully that makes sense to you because it makes the most sense to me because then I can actually see what in my collection is eyeshadows and it turns out I have a lot of eyeshadows which are kind of expected to go over a thousand because I had eyeshadows for Christmas but at the same time I'm now over a thousand eyeshadows and I said that I didn't want to get there so I'm probably gonna have to declutter at some point I'll go through my collection and do like a cycle of using different things and figure out what I like and what I don't like hopefully my shop my stash will help with that and then we can declutter some because nobody needs a thousand eyeshadows thanks so much for watching this video I hope you enjoy the new format and I hope you enjoy the pictures and all that kind of stuff Last time I did one of these, I talked you through my goal. This time around, I haven't talked you through each goal just because the goal will be showing on the screen for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.